What's up guys? Hope you enjoyed the last cooking video. I got another cool recipe. Um, I found this one from a couple offline. If you guys haven't checked out Food for Hunters, I highly recommend going to their Instagram and checking them out. They have a blog, they have a ton of really cool wild game recipes, and this is one of them. So I'm just gonna show you guys um, how this is done. So I've actually never cooked deer shank before. So this is the forearm of the deer. Typically people just grind this up for sausage. It's tons of uh, tendons, there's tons of ligaments. It's um, typically a tougher piece of meat, but we are gonna do a really cool recipe, some really cool techniques, um, kind of a Middle Eastern type uh, seasoning that goes with it. I'm gonna slow cook it in, the, in a cast iron on the Traeger. So it's gonna basically break down all that connective tissue ligaments and make it fall off the bone tender. So the seasonings that we're using for these, um, I have cinnamon, uh, cardamom, cumin, turmeric, coriander, and then some sumac for the rice, um, and then also a little bit of saffron. So we got some onion, garlic, tomato paste, and chicken stock. I take these, we don't have to trim any of the silver skin or any of that stuff off. Slow cooking, it's gonna break all that stuff down. I'm going to score around multiple times along these with a sharp knife, just deep enough to get through that silver skin, not, not super deep. And the reason why we're doing that is it's basically gonna just help this meat keep its shape um, when everything starts shrinking up as it cooks. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Two or three times. Like I said, that's just gonna help keep this meat on the bone. Boom, we're gonna go ahead and do this one as well. All right, now that those are all scored, I mixed the first set of seasonings um, in a little bowl. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna salt these, just some uh, kosher salt, the outside. And then what I did is I mixed some, I did a quarter teaspoon of the cumin, half teaspoon of the cardamom, half teaspoon of the cinnamon, and half teaspoon of the turmeric. Mix that all together. Once it's salted, I'm gonna rub this on the outside. And then what we're gonna do is uh, coat it with a little bit of flour as well. All right, now that we got these salted, I'm gonna add that mixture. We'll just put that on the outside and I'm just gonna rub it in. Get that in. All right, so Abby's actually filming this holding baby tubular in her arm. So if you hear a baby, that's what it is. <laughs> it's not Abby. All right, so we got that, that blend of seasonings on there. Now I'm just gonna coat it with a little bit of flour on the outside and just rub that in as well. And we're gonna go ahead and brown these suckers. Rub that in, get both sides. All right, now we're gonna throw some olive oil in a pan, preferably the cast iron, and we're gonna brown these suckers for a little bit. Then, on to the next step. All right, so I just put the olive oil on there, heated it up. We're gonna go ahead and brown these now. Sit down. Might have to do this one at a time, which I'll probably do just one at a time. Just set that in there. I'm gonna brown each side a couple minutes, um, and then we're gonna take them out and set them aside. All right, so I just took them out. They're brown. I'm gonna set them aside. And then we just diced up a whole onion, like a whole large onion. And I'm gonna put those in and saute those. Oh, Abby's gonna take the oven for me. We're just gonna saute these uh, for a few minutes so they become translucent. And we're gonna add a few other things here in a second. Let me get these in first. All right, so these are all sauteed, ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is we have six cloves of garlic I smashed. We're gonna throw those in there. Three tablespoons of tomato paste. Get that in there. We have half a teaspoon of ground coriander. And then a pinch with saffron, this stuff's pretty gnarly. I've actually never cooked the saffron. Heard really good things from it, but it's a pretty cool looking. I'm gonna go about that. Throw that in there. All right, we're gonna saute that for about another minute. Get it all together. 
It smells so good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the shanks back in here and we're gonna cover the shanks um, with chicken stock. All right, let's go ahead and put these back in. Cut it over. All right, so what we're going to do now is just pour that stock in just about so it covers them. So most likely it's going to be about two quarts or so. to a boil and we're going to cover this with foil put the lid on it and what that does is just keep from too much like too much moisture escaping it'll it's going to leak out the edges over the two to three hours that we cook it so some moisture is going to be pulled from that but that's basically just going to slow it down and keeping that from completely drying out so let's bring this to a boil and then we'll we'll cover it with foil all right so foiling we're just going to cover this with some foil cover the edges Probably didn't need that much, but I'm going to turn this off. Set this in. Okay. Alright, let's go throw this on the Traeger. So I turned the Traeger up to 350. It's all preheated, it's ready to go. I'm going to go throw this sucker in. And it's going to go about two and a half to three hours. So about halfway through, I'm just gonna take the foil off and put the lid back on, just so the sauce will thicken up a little bit. Looking good. Looking good. All right, so as a side, I'm doing some basmati rice, and I added some of this. This stuff's awesome. Um, butter flavored olive oil no it doesn't have any dairy or anything in it it's just the way that they process it and it tastes honestly just like butter this stuff is amazing so i put some of that in there and then we're going to top it off with some suma all right guys it is time to go pull that off abby is off the clock <laughs> it's getting late so i'm gonna go do this myself but i want to show you guys that it is time so i'm actually gonna have to cut and edit this because i need both hands for this one but she should be ready to go guys we're gonna take a little look So I just took a taste test and it is absolutely amazing. The flavors in this are incredible. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this. These are done. Use some of that sauce, pour that in there. We got the rice and then I made a couple uh, butter leaf lettuce salads and it is grub time. All right. Here's another thing you guys can do <clears throat> is just put it back on the stove top and let it simmer for a little bit longer just to thicken up the, the sauce to wherever you want it. Um, it's a little bit runny here for me, so I'm gonna sit here and just simmer this down a bit um, and thicken it up, and then I'll top it. All right, there it is, the venison shank. We braised it, Traeger did us good. I love cooking those cast irons. These guys definitely know what, we're doing, what they're doing. We got the sumac rice, butter leaf lettuce, and this is for my Colorado mule deer I just got. But it is game time. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you guys, uh, if you guys try this, you enjoy. Definitely highly recommend it. See you guys.